Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Let's check out the ship. By the way, first things first. Safe. Might be useful. Uh, oh, just see. What's hiding here? Mm. Mm, start. Oh, parasites. And ship's manifest. Reminder, the Stone Lord's goods. We don't need to see the man to know he's serious about his property. If you attempt to crack a crate and take a look, remember Norin and the white-eyed loons who came to take him away last time out. I didn't raise a finger to stop those gods, mad bastards, and I want for you I Blood bank. I started doing one song. Assume the soul. At least it seems to be all. Okay. Yeah, they stepped into the. it again okay so let's go back to uh, hip side I guess and what else I don't want to go to Raphael's house yet for that we need to rest. I believe for anything we really need to rest given yesterday's lack to get entangled in every possible fight. Is there anything here? I don't think so. Uh... Oops. Impressive murder tribunal, yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> um, yes. Yes, I'm gonna take for rest. I'm gonna save because we are done with the ship. And let's take a long night rest. Misery still here. You want something from me? Oh, wait, what? A letter from Orin. Gortar's metal mannequins will not dance to your tune, they only dance to his. To set yourself against their steel is to invite domination. So why slice the strings of one when you might make one cut to serve sever them all? Seek the blackened heart of their foundry and tear it out. Then the Lordling will play puppet master no one, no more. <sighs> Can I just go to sleep? Already feeling better. I'm glad you're feeling better. I don't. Hmm? Tash's parents sold him to a warlock. Why does that sound so familiar? I've got no interest in empathizing with the fuck. But maybe what he did to me was some kind of mirror of what happened to him. When you get fucked up, you fuck up right back. I hope you're here to discuss that contract you just signed. Agreeing to give away our greatest hope of salvation wasn't the wisest of moves. Wait, I did oh, what? We did not come in terms with Raphael. Don't worry, I said what Raphael wanted to hear. I have no intention of giving him the ground. I'm glad to hear it. But you realize we can't just tell him we changed our minds. 
I wanted to steal it from him. The potential that crown possesses. We read it, written in Carthus's own hand. I thought you understood that. It seems I was mistaken. I could rather put such power in the hands of a devil than in me, your trusted companion. Well, that companionship might prove a rather fleeting one. What? I'm sorry, but I'm confused. I wanted to steal the. Eh? Mistra has forsaken Gale entirely. A crushing blow. But he is strong enough to persevere, I think. Hmm. Can you Go stay? Sure. Yes. Fine. I'll, I'll be here whenever you rediscover your taste in company. Oh, Carla. And who else? This crown seems too powerful and dangerous an object for mere mortals to possess. Too dangerous even for Mistra. But I would sooner trust it with a god than with Gale. Hmm, could be true. Duke Stalmain allied with the Emperor. Mind flayers are like devils. They just sport tentacles rather than wings. Clever, manipulative, exploitative. The Emperor says he's a friend. I think we'd be fools to believe him. Mm. And maybe it's true. Maybe Stelmane allied with a mind flayer and subjected the city to their political will. Or maybe he made an offer she couldn't refuse. Maybe. Mistra has forsaken Gale entirely. <laughs> a crushing blow. But he is strong enough to persevere, I think. I hope so. Carla, you up? Aiden is gone. Wow. So that was Mistra. Pretty spectacular stuff. But I think Gail was right not to agree to do her bidding, no questions asked. I respect the gods, but they don't always understand what they're asking of us. Maybe immortality makes it hard to know what it's like to be one of us piggies. Proud of Gale, though. It takes some man to hold his own in front of the Divine. Hell yes. Oh, and wait. You have so much health. So, Gale's hedging his bets with Mistra? I can't say I blame him. Who'd want to hold a power like the crown of Carthus in their hands just to hand it to someone else? I know what my decision would be, but we're all different, of course. Of course. Attention! Give it some time. It has to think. <laughs> Change with oh right we can change it. But like her bear form. Hmm. Relentless rage. Once per short rest, if you drop to zero hit points while well, enraged, you can regain one hit point. Hey. Alright. What now? Curse to put my hands on everything. Please make it a pleasant event, please. This time, at least this time, please let it be pleasant. They say that home is where a person can be their truest selves, without guile, without pretense. Who are you again? You did well to see off the Githyanki who had invaded mine. And now that you have seen where I come from, you know all there is to know about me. At least, all that matters. The flavors of my favorite fiddlehead soup, should you wish to experience it for yourself. My beloved confidant and loyal companion, Rascal. The very first reward I gifted myself on completion of my first adventure. The garments with which I concealed 
and later constructed my appearance as the Emperor. We spoke of my relationship with Duke Berlin Stillman, a story I have told no one else. I have no more secrets from you. No need to resort to subterfuge. We are true allies now, working towards a common goal. We are? Why did you resort to subterfuge at all? The only way we were ever going to get close enough to the brain to destroy it was by working together. But few would trust a mind flare. So I did what I had to to convince you. I studied you. Your motivations, your actions, your desires. I deduced the best way to align your goals with my own. And what did you learn? That you are complex and full of contradictions. It was no easy task, but I had to persist. I needed your absolute dedication to the cause. I anticipated the challenge, and I anticipated your resistance. What I didn't anticipate was how much I would enjoy. Don't get me wrong, I don't mind the tentacles, it's just, how should I tell this? You lied, if you tried controlling me, you wouldn't tell me the whole truth right from the start. You're trying to flirt with me now? Would you like that? Um, perhaps? The back of your mind warms with a rush of feeling. The Emperor's feeling. Heat, care, arousal. Leave my brain alone. Like I said, I don't mind the, I don't mind the tentacles, but I hate the teeth. in your hand, invite it in. You feel its breath merging into yours, cold, smelling faintly of vanilla and garlic. Its breathing quickens as you pull in close to its face, its excitement palpable. You pause a moment as a thought occurs to you. Where is a mind flayer's mouth? A memory stirs. Diagrams in a book you read long ago. A mind flayer's mouth is underneath the tentacles. Kiss the tentacle and hope that it's an urgent appendage.
Everything you ever dreamt of and more. The single greatest experience of your life. Pleasure upon pleasure as mind and body intertwined. It was hard to tell where thoughts ended and feelings began. You can read the Emperor's expression better now that you've connected on a deeper level. You know it feels the same way. It seems the tadpole allowed you to share more than you would have liked with your companions. I said I'd protect you from the absolute, not each other. And I was distracted. It's time to get dressed. We have work to do. The business then. The Elder Brain's hive mind has grown to monstrous proportions. And through the crown's magic, it has complete control over each and every member. It was intelligent before, but now, with its hive mind established across the city, it is well on its way to becoming indestructible. We must stop it while we still can, before we too become its slaves. Don't you dare judge me. I mean, the very change. as lightning and seething like the river Styx. But there's something missing, isn't there? You're hungry for pleasures beyond this plane. Something more satisfying than mortal flesh, blood, and bone. I mean... Kala hates her, Will hates her, she really did mostly harm, only harm, she didn't really help us. Um, I'm quite content, actually. Whatever you're offering right now, I'm, I had a busy night. No, oh, but do hear me out. You want what I have to offer. The ecstasy of agony. The pain of the damned, distilled into pure bliss. Beyond every climax you've known. The little death, writ large. Ah, le petit smile. mort. And I'll come to you when you put your head down to rest. I will sate your most forbidden lusts. 
I would rather have oh, Kyla call a star. I know the eternal ache of the unknown and the unanswered. What's the catch? What are you trying to get out of this visit? The same thrills I offer you. Some experiences are better when shared. I'm gonna catch some weird disease. Fuck it. Tonight then. Be ready. Scratch, my boy, my boy. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Oh, I haven't been well for so long. But really though, why all of a sudden this is happening? Hey, good looking. Uh, do you have anything? Ten turns. Oh right, I wanted to. Let's get going. Do I want to change Gale for someone? No. Let's leave the camp. So, as I understand, going into Raphael's house to steal from him is apparently out of the question, according to Gail. So, maybe. getting rid of the foundry first? I'm really not stressed. I really don't wanna. I really don't want to fuck up the part of Casador. I wanna do this right. Okay. Um, I really, really, really want to do this the right way, and I'm just so afraid that I'm gonna screw it up. Hmm? Why did you destroy this thingy? Oh, yeah, Good day board. to you, madam. I apologize, but Lady Janeth is not currently welcoming visitors. If you are here with regards to her recent marriage, you may leave any gifts or warm wishes with me, and I will ensure she receives them. <clears throat> Forgive me. As you can hear, Lady Janeth is indisposed at present. Please come back another time. I need to enter. I have business with Oscar. Do as you wish. So that's where he went. What the fuck? I'm sorry if I'm swearing too much today, but... That, 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 that's a lot of blood. so I can rip out your filthy tongue. Stop this! 
I love you, Oscar. And I know you love me. It's your gold I love, Hogwife. But all the riches in Faerun would not be enough to make a life with you worth living. Oh, gods, aid me. He does not mean the things he says. You! Help subdue him, but be gentle. He's not to blame. Progress. Um... I can the stop curse, I cannot undo it. Please get up there. Step quick. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't care about those boulder guys. That was interrupted. Okay, then just get over here. Okay, uh, whose turn is it now? Mine, apparently. Okay, she's okay, I can end my turn. I read it as peaceful for not for sure. Don't be like that, darling. Offer our guests something to drink. Maybe you'll be not. So what will getting rid of poor guys be enough? Now those are killed, but... Hmm? Oh, those two down there. Okay. How many? Eight forty eight. Ah, sure. Oh, one well, missed. I didn't see that. This is my happy place. Grateful for your help, but wait, your face is familiar to me. Yes, I've seen it before on Oscar's sketches. 
you're the one who saved him from the Zentarim. Yes. You're remar remarkably calm, giving your husband just tried to kill us. I'm getting rather used to it, unfortunately. Not long after the wedding, he lost his appetite, fell into dark moods. He started to avoid my company entirely. Artistic temperament, I thought, but it worsened. He became violent, called me some rather imaginative names. I hesitate to say it. Something unnatural has taken hold of him. Oscar has been possessed. Yes, that much is obvious. The last time I left this room, the walls started bleeding, and a portrait of my mother tried to bite me. Flying furniture and screaming portraits I could deal with. But to see my husband reduced to such a state... I can't come within arm's reach without him trying to strangle me. And he calls me such vile things. It hates everyone, but it loathes me. It's not him. I know he would never hurt me. And I promised I would let no harm come to him. As you can see, I've already failed. It's obvious he needs more help than I can give. Please, you saved him once. You must find a way to cure him. Where should I start? Oscar's behavior began to change shortly after the wedding. He became withdrawn, working obsessively up in his atelier. I tried to take him some food, but I couldn't cross the threshold. It was as though the house itself didn't want me up there. Whatever this thing is, it doesn't want anyone going up there. I swear, it's in the walls. Watching. Great. Okay, is this the way? What does the Hundic Aura means? Nearby creatures will be afflicted with phantasmal force. Yes, here. Yeah, he needs to get through. Six damage per turn. Mm. God damn it. Very well. Skulls. Oh. Can Gale deactivate those uh, candelabras? Almost. We'll see it in a minute. Um. Nope. <laughs> Greater toughness. The other stream is strong only a hit that deals at least 50 damage. A 
better position. Okay, get there. Look. This is 1831, yeah. Okay, I'm sure there was something because... Oh, it's... no? Thank you so much. Oh, don't you dare. Invisibility, invisible. I don't think so. Of course, I have all this stuff. Uh, or not? You have invisibility, but not see invisible. Right, right. Why is this so? I see. Oh, never mind then. Um. On my way. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't want her to be there alone. Let's go. Click your heels and dash. He can go a long way. Blood comes easy these days. Best be on my way. Okay. So we also need to dash. Can I hide over here from these skulls? Oh, hi. Oh, that hurts. Mm. Yep. 
Looking for one. Oh, actually. Short rest. Please help me. Time to get going. Okay, I'm gonna save. Because we need to get up there quickly. As I understand. Can't slow down. Or not. Yes, let's. Not a sound. Slowly. Step quick. Okay. What to do? Slowly. Any attention right now? How does it work? Have to keep going. I'd love to I'm thanks. fairly sure I need to do this. Rather quickly. Wait, what was she doing there? I was sure she got knocked out? Down? Okay, um, I'll load the safe. We are back. Okay, there has to be a way to disable them. So instead, let's go down here. Can we destroy those? <sighs> okay, Carla, please get rid of those. Nope. 
Cater. Make it hurt. No blood. Ninety percent chance to get. Let's get over here. Those calls are still working fine. Let's go down there. Forward. There's not one. There's two. I'm so tired. How do people do this all day? We just rested here. This committee of errors centers around the butler, Vincent Raspington, who, though he is referred to his silly dragon bone with stiff manners and a generally baffled attitude to the goings on the fine fair ladies and their gentlemen, ends up going arse over a tea kettle into extremely erotic situation with the local nobility. Needless to say, he's unprepared for it. There's a particularly good sequence in which Vincent, a seven-foot-tall dragonborn, must pretend to be a shelled gnome named Missy Wumpusnatch during a banquet. And we found something here. Dear Lady Yanath, uh, our most profound and gracious thanks to your patronage in granting us the honor of crafting a wedding ring. We wish you the greatest joy for your upcoming nuptials, and should you desire in years to come to mark the happy occasion with a gift of similar craft and quality, we would be delighted to offer you our services once more, along with a returning customer discount. Yours in artistry, Umotola. Beneath the signature is a stump of shining jewel, the words the Glitter Gala and Bros in Guild of the Center. With been there? I think it's some I heard this name already. Okay, let's talk to her. What the hell is the Glitter Gala? I'm not sure I heard that name already, but I have no idea where. Something Wait. Good here, I hope. Oh, a key. Did you find anything in Oscar's atelier? Nothing. Please don't give up. Uh, if only I knew how to get up there. Uh... If I only knew how those skulls worked. Yeah. Oh, don't. Just jump down there. Thank you. Can you click your heels? No. No 
What do you mean you can't reach her? Of course you can. Yeah, luckily we have Carla. In there, wait. Ooh, 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 ooh. Maybe there's something down in the cellar. Um, don't get me wrong, I don't think there's anything useful here. That's because there's nothing here to feed. This is a colossal waste of time. Now I need to check something. I don't see it properly. This way. Okay, I need you guys to go like this. Thank you. All's well. How are you? So you don't go last. Could have. Just retreat fly up there. Nope. <sighs> Sometimes I cannot cancel the action. Thank you. Now stick together. And please. I'm gonna save here. Breathe deep and move. But the thing is, I need to see where I'm going. <sighs> Which one of you? Oh God damn it! They went after me. them one by one in order to not <laughs> unless let's go through scrolls once again and no I don't have any not psychic do we have psychic not really can you heal yourself swift as my feet can carry me okay go separately this place oh I have the magic touch I mm, never mind What the f- I'll get back to you once I'm up there. Be right back. I'm back. I decided to take another route. And we are on the roof. It's a lonely, lonely world for a young woman in the modern culture of necromancy. She trusts against the she beloved. Who needs necromancy? What could such a gross thing possibly be for? These questions are very valid. I hope my answer satisfies. Necromancy is a social magic. I have a zombie, Mr. Nascent Owens, under my throat. 
Now he remembers absolutely nothing of his past life. He only knows this new one I've given him. He derives a large amount of pleasure from, say, getting me tea, administering a stinky but relaxing back rub, or eating the brains of my enemies. The spiritual implications are pretty profound here, right? Here's a husk imbued with purpose, given a direction, made useful in the most economic sense and happy in the metaphysical sense. So who needs necromancy? We who demand a chance to challenge the whole death thing, because we're weird and lonely, and we like having friends as much as anyone. It shall be done. I hate this place. I see you. Can you jump? Hey, can you fly? Death can't have me. Not yet. I'll be right back. I am back, and this time we're gonna use Misty Step, but I'm gonna say first. Um, Misty step up. You're not doing enough space. No ordinary easel. There's a mechanism attached, if I'm not mistaken. Um. Adventure awaits. Look at me. Aren't I beautiful? Lady Janeth, made with duster. The sky skid. I'll smear your flesh on this canvas. Mm. No. Please. Take the piggy bank, bitch! Burn her! Gross it burns! It burns! You will burn too! This was followed by the Astral Period, whose founding members railed against the perfection and studied nature of the classical period with unbridled colors, porous borders between segments, and unconventional materials like blood on stone, hair sewn into paper, and chalk on, chalk on humanoid skin. The first discernible piece of astral art was created by Wilhelmina Oates, who, it was said, returned to the material plane after a lifetime spent on the astral plane only to find that no time at all had passed. She leveraged her lifetime of wisdom to spread, spearhead this new mold of art, which, though rejected at first by critics, soon heralded a new era of creation across the realm. Anyway. Okay. Looking magical, as always. Um... Smear your flesh on this canvas. Dirty little fingers. I see a blank canvas. I don't need blank canvases, apparently. needed here because uh, I believe he's not the one with the key Trust. you have this or not I have ski shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times no bail has the key excellent choice Medium toughness, which means oh, 22 or more. Yes, no. I'll smear your 
flesh on this canvas. Wait, we can steal it? So I can I'll take it. Your flesh on this canvas. Yeah, I was wondering if that's what was about to happen. Hope he will make it alive. <sighs> the portrait is ice cold to the touch, filling you with a sense of overwhelming dread. So why is the woman smiling? Oh, he told us about that. Dearest Ms. Fervas, I so appreciated the desperation of your correspondence. Heartbreak can impose such a terrible burden. In my humble role as an interlocutor with the spiritual, I believe I might be able to offer you some reprieve. Bring this letter to my mansion near the seafront, and together we will see if the dead have peace to offer you. Yours in spirit, Mystic Carrion. P.S. The door is regrettably stubborn, so I must speak it before words. Secreta Morturum. P.P.S. I may even consider this contract at rate. If you're willing to recommend my services, Lady Yannis, well, call it Kingfolk. My dearest Lady Janeth, I write to inform you of my progress on your portrait and my struggles therein. You see, while my skill at capturing continents is considered far superior to the other brush, brush folk of this good city, it is lacking in one particular aspect. My memory of your form is far inferior to the purest beauty I beheld when you first sat with me. How can I finish a masterpiece without confidence in my grasp of its subject? I beg of you, sit for me again. Allow me to finish this portrait in the proper fashion. With its ravishing subject, feel me grasp within my gaze. Yours, Oscar. The portrait is ice cold to the touch, filling you with a sense of overwhelming dread. Why is the woman smiling? Carrie, my darling, I'm not sure why I'm writing this. Where you've gone to, no pigeon could deliver it. Still, if there's some part of you watching over my shoulder as I sit here, I beg you, Leave me be. You feel my every thought, my dreams, my nightmares. Is there no reprieve from the memory of your face to look of disappointment that you cast upon me each time I close my eyes? I cannot take much more of this. I must be rid of you. I must. Hmm. Okay, but that is where I'm gonna end this part. I need to go down there and talk to the lady. Ah, oh, nice. How did you get here? Okay. Very well. For now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.